Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're talking about some portal user updates that we're bringing to the platform that I'm excited to share with everybody. So let's talk about what's being added. So for those of you that have been using portal users, if you go into a customer detail page and scroll down a bit, you're pretty familiar with portal users as they stand here, but actually creating them and managing them is sometimes complicated if you have a lot of contacts. You can still do what you used to be able to from here by clicking new and the options are all here still and you can change portal groups, send invites, update the user, turn on MFA if you wanted. But now as well on the contact management page, you can click a contact and there is an option here called enable portal user and you can check the box and the default group will appear here and just like on the main page, you can turn MFA on and off. You can reset the password and hitting save. If the customer, or excuse me, the contact has an email address, it'll send the invite. Uh, one thing that we want to note is that we will automatically use the customer and contact email for the portal user login now. Before, we used to assign a random login, uh, like string of numbers and letters. Now we're gonna use the email by default because well, that's more modern, but at the same time too, you can now customer password reset self-serve. So for those of you that have wanted your contacts to be able to change their password on their own because they forgot it, happy to announce that's now an option. There's a forget, forgot password uh, link on the login portal. So if you're using a email address for your contacts, they can take care of that themselves now. now for those of you saying, hold up, I don't wanna use an email address. Well, that's okay. That's still, that's still a thing. You can still use this portal login override. This field's only gonna appear if the contact or the customer record doesn't have an email address. I highly recommend again, just to drill it home one more time that you use email addresses because if you're not, you don't get the cool things like the, the password reset and it's just less standard these days, but I get it, you have your reasons. There's a way to, to use a non-email address for the portal users. So you may be saying to yourself, oh, portal users, I didn't know about them. I wanna use them, but I have a ton of customers. Do I have to go in and actually individually send invites out? And previously, my answer would have been, yeah. But now, if you go to customers, uh, or excuse me, the customer tab, and you check a uh, box for one or more, then go to bulk actions. There's a new option here called bulk manage portal users. If you click that, you can choose to only apply these invites or whatever you change here to contacts, customers, or both. And then you can turn portal users on or off for them. You can choose which portal permissions group they're in, and you can choose to turn multi-factor on and off. When you hit this update button for everyone you have selected, and oh, by the way, if you wanna just do all of your customers in one go, you can just check this box there and hit update. When you hit that button, it's gonna fire off emails to everyone with a portal invite to, to get them set up with the customer portal. So again, new things were, we've added a way to bulk invite and edit your portal users. We have changed that uh, where you can manage portal users at the contact level. And we're also importantly using an email address as a default portal login now. And if again, you don't wanna use that, you can come in on the contact level and use a portal login override. So this video is getting along. I need to get a drink of water. I really hope everyone enjoys these changes. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.